Hi, I'm John at Mountain High Fly Shop in Lincoln, New Hampshire. We're going to tie a fly I designed called the UV Pike Blender. I designed it for pike up here in New Hampshire, and I'm going to show you guys how to tie it. All right, so we're going to start with the universal curved 4 rot, so XO774. So a new hook from Arex. Great for pike and muskies. So very short shank. We're going to start right in the middle of it. Trim off the excess thread. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take some pink bucktail here. Take a really long section from the lower portion of the tail. I'm going to trim that out here, just clean it up a bit, pull the loose fibers out from the base of the hair. All right, and then once that's cleaned up here, just going to tie in that bucktail. like that. Just pull out any loose fibers. There shouldn't be many. All right. That's looking good right there. And then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to take the Steve Farrar blend. So we're going to grab some of that. It's a great synthetic, really popular in saltwater tying. So we'll take a nice clump of that and grab it by the middle portion here, just pinch it off. And we're going to go a little longer. So take it at the middle and then just pull it through your fingers to the desired length. We're going to go probably, it'll be about 10 or 12 inches. That's, that's probably 10 inches there. But you, you could do whatever. I wouldn't go any more than 12 or so for pike, maybe if you're going for muskies. But so just tie that in right on top of that bucktail. And then what I do is just take these fibers here, just flare them, pull them out, and then just push them straight back. That just adds to the taper, the overall fly, just makes it blend. Okay. Then just pull out anything loose. There's going to be some SF fiber that's going to want to come out, so just pull that out. All right. And the next thing is going to be some flashaboo. So this is micro flashaboo. And of course, this fly can be tied in a variety of different colorways. It doesn't have to be pink and white or pink and black. Whatever we're going to do today, it's going to be a productive color, but not the only color. We'll take about 15 to 20 strands of that. Just grab it with your thread. And then this one I'm going to pull back just a touch here. And you want it just touch shorter than the SF fiber, the SF blend there, and then just secure that. Throw a little bit of head cement on there for good measure. So the next thing is a little bit of ripple ice fiber, UV pearl. So this is where the UV aspect comes in. I like to add it to most of my flies nowadays. It's just a great material that anything UV, uh, especially the ripple ice fiber, this really shows up and makes your fly pop in the water. And this just adds to that, again, overall taper. So a little bit on top, you know, clump about, you know, if we're going bucktail standards, about a quarter pencil, a little less even. Just flare that out and then push it back, wrap back on it. And then just a little bit of pink. Same thing, just a little bit of pink ripple ice fiber, same 
Same portion, about a quarter pencil. It's right on top. Just a little bit on the bottom. Slightly less. I like to not crowd that, that gap, even though it's a really wide gap, really big hook, still less fiber on the bottom. Okay, now just put the glass rattle in. This is just a five millimeter rattle here. And they never want to stay on top, but just kind of work it into that. I have to push it back a little bit. Okay, now just a little bit of UV. This is Solarez here. This is the thick hard formula. Just put a little bit of that on. Be generous with it. Coat most of the rattle here. Get all the thread wraps covered, and you can even go around the, the glass itself, just protects it from rocks and such. And this is one of several methods I have for inserting rattles in the flies. And this seems to work pretty well. It's not the best method, but it, it keeps them protected for a while. Um, I have a couple others. The GM baitfish, I showed my other method with the body tubing, so check that out. But much better than, than nothing. So, And just UV that. So this is the Loon Outdoors uh, bench light here, so it's a UV light. You can get them at the shop here. Fantastic UV light. And all the Loon UV products are great. Okay, so take another clump of the Ripple Ice fiber here. Just lay that in right behind the rattle. And just dub a little bit of this ripple ice fiber onto the thread, just like so. You go right over top of that rattle and that's just gonna give it a little extra protection again. It's gonna keep it safe. Just dub that on there and just wrap right over that. That's just gonna protect it a little bit. Just trim out the loose fibers there. Take some ripple ice fiber here. And we're gonna put that in front of the rattle now, just like we did behind. So a little bit on top. And just a little bit of the pearl on bottom. Okay, and just separate that and just pull it right back. All right, and then we're gonna whip finish proper here. We're gonna take a little bit of hard, clear head cement, some loon, and just put that on. Just cover up our thread wraps there. And next we'll take the hook out of the vise. We're gonna grab a big game shank. So these are Flyman Chocolates game shanks, and this one here is 28 millimeter, so we're gonna take one of those and then you just put it right through the eye of the hook. Like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the shank, put the shank right there, and we'll probably re relocate this once we have our first couple thread wraps and the shank is secured. Can move it into a different position so we'll just start with that and what you want to do is just lock up this shank make sure it's secure start your thread right in the middle work back and then forward and just get those wraps nice and tight because you're really secure in this thing of course so it doesn't come apart which you don't want that on a pike or a muskie Really lock that in and then just take some more hard clear head cement and then put that on. Really get those 
Wraps covered up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take more ripple ice fiber. Just even it up. And then just distribute it around the hook shank, around the whole thing. And then just push that back. And that's just gonna blend the, the rear of the fly into the front. It's seamless. You can't tell that there's even a break in there. So, And then what we'll do is we're gonna put our eyes on. So we're gonna do some eyes here. These are sea eyes, aluminum. And these are the XL. So start on top, do some thread wraps, and then spin them to the bottom. And that's gonna make sure that the hook rides proper. You don't wanna put them up top there. They are aluminum, so they're not super heavy, but just weights the fly enough. A little bit of drop on the paws. Pike, you know, they really will move in when things seem to die, and that's what this fly does when you paws it. It really looks like a dying bait fish, so. So just some cross wraps there. Okay, once those are in, just put a little bit more of this on, a little bit of the hard clear head cement, top and bottom. Okay, and this progress the, the thread back. Just let that cement dry up. And what we'll do, we'll grab this bucktail here. Just gonna trim off a little bit of this. I'm gonna clean it up. Trim it even. We're gonna reverse tie this. So we're gonna tie it in tips facing towards the front of the hook. And just distribute that bucktail right around there. Just work it with your hands, your fingers. Pull out any loose fibers. And then pull straight down. And then push back with all that loose bucktail fiber. And we got our first sparse portion of bucktail there. All right, and then just take another clump. I like to do them separate. If you do too much at once, it just it doesn't flare out good. It just doesn't doesn't seem to have that that wide profile. So we'll do two separate ones. Another lengthy clump. And sometimes I'll do two different colors. This one I'm just gonna do pink for both. So just clean that up, trim it. And same thing, reverse tie. All right, next step is a hackle feather here on each side. I'm just gonna select one of those. You want a relatively short and skinny one. So not super long, we're talking you know, six inches or so. So we'll put one of those on each side. Just gonna select these two here, pluck those out. So we got our hackles. Just remove the feather, so you got stem here. And you're gonna wanna lay one of those down, concave in towards the hook. And just do a nice loose wrap, tighten down. Just trim the excess, same thing on this side. Clean that up. Okay, just wrap back a little bit. Okay, next thing we'll do is we're gonna tie in some Magnum Predator legs and some Rainbow Shimmer legs. 
Take one Magnum Predator leg in black and two legs in the shimmer. Trim those out. And then just put them together, even them up, and then tie those in. Trim the excess leg out. Same thing on the other side. And just tie that set in on this side here, near side, and then even them up. And then just trim the excess. All right, next we're just gonna take one hot pink UV2 strung saddle. Take one of these. We'll tie that in towards the rear of the saddle. I'm just gonna do about a wrap with that, just to give it a little bit of pink highlight. That's essentially our gill right there, or collar. This is just some black marabou blood quills here. We're gonna grab those and pick some lengthy fibers out. And just take it by the tip, separate those fibers, tie it right in there. And just palmer it forward. Capture it. So where I like to come in with the trusty lighter. Just burn some of those fibers down. Clean it up a little bit. And then just do a couple more X wraps. Just make sure everything's nice and snug. And we come up to the front. Do a couple wraps right in front of those eyeballs there. And we just do a whip finish. <clears throat> All right, and then what we'll do is trim this out and glue on the eyes and then some UV. Okay, so just some Gorilla Super Glue here. Take a little bit of that, put it right in the middle. Not too much, just a little bit. Take our eye here. Just make sure you get the right sized eyes for the, the C eyes that you're using. They don't come with them. The eyeball, you gotta buy them separately. Just gonna put that on one side. Take our glue, put the CI on the other side, and pop that baby in, and she's almost done. And again, I take the trusty lighter, clean it up a little bit more. And we'll take our Solares here, thick hard formula. It's key for this portion, and just really apply good portion on there right on top just work it in all the nooks and crannies and then on the bottom same thing take our bodkin here all right and then we're just gonna hit it with the UV light here all right and that is it so this is the UV pike blender so this is a pattern I developed for pike up here in New Hampshire and uh, have fun tying it. It's uh, not overly complex. It's, it's got some steps in it, but 
Um, really enjoyable pattern to tie and throw. Uh, really lightweight. Again, it suspends, dives a little bit with the aluminum eyes. Does everything you need. So, uh, thanks for watching and have a good day.